Well, Hammy, a 1 0 win. How are you feeling after that? What are your thoughts? Uh, really happy, really pleased. Pleased for fans, obviously. But they're not such a long journey across here. But again, like we obviously we've got fond memories of this place from last year. So to go away with another win, all, all, not as dramatic, but nearly as dramatic. And uh, see smiles on faces behind. Um, the goal at the end of the game is just really pleasing and I just think it's a good confidence boost to foot lads that we can come away and you know we've lost a couple of games where it's been a little bit scrappy like that but we felt tonight like we dug in and the things that we want from our team we showed um, I know people might not like some of that but um, it's, the games are won in different ways and we had to win a different way tonight I'm really pleased we have Is that the most pleasing thing that you found a way to win and it, it may well be a different way but at the end of the day, you've got three points. I think all good teams win in different ways. I think um, no game's kind of the same. Uh, there's different obstacles, there's different challenges, and there's nobody in League One who aren't going to be competitive. There's nobody in League One who's going to see Derby as a as a big scalp that they want to take every week. Obviously, we bring when we come away massive crowds. When we're at home, with there's massive crowds. So, as a opposition player, you want to play in that environment and. Arguably, you might say they want to impress us, so that one day they might be able to play for Derby, and that ain't being big time. But certainly, when when I were a player, that's what you wanted to be. You wanted to be at big clubs, and you know, um, fingers crossed. Uh, we, like I say, we put smiles on people's faces, and that's what we want to do. You had to be patient, but when the goal came, it was a great moment for Tyrese John Jules. Excellent, yeah. And, and Mendes, I think we're getting a little bit frustrated, so we had to pull him across and just calm him down a little bit, but. Picked a good pass, a bit of composure. A mistake from them, obviously, but the ruthlessness to take it, and you know he's had a he's had a tough period, the lad, and we're just really, really pleased for him. He's a, he's a great kid. He's got a good willingness. He's part of the team. He's part of the group. He's good in the dressing room, and it's always nice. And that don't mean so that any others aren't. Um, Carlo and Waggy were jumping up and down behind me. So obviously, it's, it's just nice that you've got that together in this front group, and they're happy for the team, which is what you want. I know that it's just three points, but because Tyrese got the goal and the frustration that he's been through, did it almost make it feel that little bit extra special? It was in front of the away fans as well, and it's a, a moment that you hope can really start kick start his derby career now. Definitely, but it's been a, I mean, it, for as good as it is for JJ, it's been frustrating to lose Connor. We obviously need four fit strikers firing, but we've got three again, and you know they, they all bring different attributes. Collo's done really well tonight, and then almost knocked their back three back and then JJ's come on and scored with his first goal. And there's going to be games like that. Might be JJ doing it, Colo scoring or Waggy. So, you know, we, we, we've got good players, good forward options and it's just nice when we can take a chance. But, I mean, I keep harping on about it, but it's just nice to win 1-0 away from home. How pleased were you with the way that you saw the game out as well? Very. Obviously, Sonny come on, won a few headers. Cash, I thought, were excellent again tonight. Nels looks like he's been playing for Derby for years and years and years, which is the biggest compliment I can give him. So just the fact that they can win headers, they can compete and, and just see the game out. And there's going to be times where that's needed. There'll be times where we, we were laying it round and keeping the ball, but the fact that at the end of the game we did that was just really pleasing. So that's four league wins in a, a row now. I spoke to the gaffer a couple of weeks ago and he said this is sort of time when his team's clicking to gear. Do you feel that there's some sort of momentum and sort of that feeling that something's building now? Well, winning breeds confidence. Then confidence obviously goes on to pitch and we've got good players. So when you have that, it's like a dream combination. Um, we had a difficult few first months, but like we have done when we've got promoted out of this league before, if you look at his record, so it's no different. Um, it's just important that as staff we keep a level keel, we don't let players get too up, too down. As people know, there's a lot going off all the time on social media, and newspapers, etc. But everything's kept in house, everything's the same, whether we win, lose or draw, and uh, we, we go again and we, we look forward to next game. Is it easy to keep it sort of level when you know the emotions of the games, you're disappointed or you're really high? Is it is it difficult as a staff to keep that or is it just because you're so used to it and you know the benefits at the end of the season? I don't think it's hard to do. I think that's just the people we are. We, 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 this sounds really, really strange, but it's easy to criticise the players after a victory. So we'll break that down, go to them and say, you need to do X, Y and Z next game. So whereas sometimes when you lose and you give them a little bit they can take it personally and get upset but uh, it's just how we are I don't know look we're as emotional as anybody and we're, we're emotional now but when we get home and then we review it and we assess it and we show players back it again on Thursday um, that's just how we've always operated so it's no different for us. You've got a week now to play again so how are you going to utilise that rare weekend off? 
Uh, well, we're all at games. Uh, we've got some training to do. Um, so it'll just be business as usual, really, looking at what we can do, looking how we can help the team, planning for Tuesday and planning for runner games that we've got coming up because it's going to be a tough Christmas period. We've obviously got teams to play or, or up and around that area, so it, it, it's going to be a big Christmas that we need everybody to pull together and really stay behind the lads.